Hello everyone, welcome to Savvy Looks, where I like to take outdated or damaged secondhand furniture and give it a whole new life. This week I'm working on this end table that I was commissioned by my previous teacher to do for her. Structurally, it was in great condition, but it had lots of huge gaps and scratches all over the piece. It had a pretty dated orange finish with lots of huge stains and dark marks. There were some areas where the finish was clearly beginning to fail. The latch that holds the door closed was completely destroyed and the back panel had huge chunks of wood missing out of them. So I knew I needed to replace the back entirely. This piece was definitely pretty dirty, especially on the inside, so I started by cleaning it all really well with a degreasing cleaner and then rinsing everything back with water. This entire piece was covered in gaps and scratches, so I went ahead and filled those all in with wood filler, and once it was dry, I sanded off all of the wood filler, gave the body of the dresser and the inside a good scuff sanding, and then sanded the top down to bare wood so that I could restain it. It definitely did smooth out the finish a lot, but you could still see a lot of those deeper gashes, and I was okay with that. I thought that it 
actually looked really cool to still have some of the original texture of the top. I went ahead and stained it in the color Dark Walnut by Minwax to give it a nice dark top to contrast with the bottom which I was planning on painting. teacher wanted the body to be a slightly darker green than the color aloe by melange so i mixed a little bit of aloe and then some basilisk black to create a slightly darker bluer hue of aloe green and then i went ahead and used a zebra palm pro paintbrush to apply the paint all over the end table see some lovely shots of my supervisor facilitating in the background. distressed all of the edges and corners. I didn't go crazy with the distressing. I just wanted to add a little bit more character back to this piece. zebra fan brush to apply satin verithane top coat all over the piece. I did three coats and an additional fourth coat on the top to ensure extra protection and a beautiful satin look. completely missing it's because I actually completely replaced the back which was a whole long process it was actually probably the longest process of this entire flip but it wasn't particularly interesting lots of demolition and sawing and drilling and painting and sealing so I didn't end up filming it but I'm sure you can imagine how it goes
Because the original latch was completely destroyed, I actually used this old latch that I had left over from a different project that I'd taken it off of. I just screwed it on and it ended up fitting perfectly. some black paint to age the hardware a little bit and make it a little bit more vintage. All right, let's take one more look at where this end table started. and complete. If you enjoyed this furniture flip, please subscribe to me here on YouTube and come follow me on Instagram at Savvy.Looks to see some more furniture flipping content and my behind the scenes. Thank you so much for watching.